Hey guys, what's going on? I am your host, Rax Wright, bringing the third episode of ARC Mods of the Month, a series where I cover a whole bunch of ARC Mods that came out in a particular month. This video is going to be the mods from January 2024. This month, as always, was pretty awesome. We're starting to see a lot of cool mods begin to be ported from ARC Survival Evolved to ARC Survival Ascended. However, not every mod is a ported one. There are a lot of really cool mods on our list for today, mods ranging from floating platforms, a whole new map, game mechanic changing mods, and of course, some dinosaurs. As always, the links for the mods are in the description below. And without further ado, let's get this show on the road. Starting off with a mod that was one of my favorites back when it was originally released for Ark Survival Evolved, it's the Eocarcaria from Tristan's Additional Creatures. This medium-sized carnivore has a lot to offer, and I'm not talking about its abilities alone. Because besides the fact that they can just beast through forests and knock down trees like nobody's business, they can also have multiple saddle types. There's the default saddle, the default saddle with leather armor upgrades, and of course the metal armored saddle. This mod does something I wish Ark did by default. Getting a saddle is cool and all, but it'd be cool to have different tiers of saddles, just like how the player has better tiers of armor. If anything, I think it was a missed opportunity. Other than being decently strong and being about allo size, the Eocarcaria also has really nice walking and running animations. A lot of times you'll see dinosaur feet kind of like slide on the ground as they're moving. The Eocarcaria does not. Does the animation look slightly funny? Sure, I'll agree to that, but you have to admit the feet placement is really good. Alright, next up we have a mod called Floating Platforms. When you hear a mod like that, you'd think, oh, maybe one or two. Not this mod. The creator went all out with this one. If I can count correctly, there are 24 different floating platforms you can create, and you create them all in this bench. They're not really cheap necessarily, but I bet once you craft one, it'll be worth it. I'm not sure exactly what you'd use these for specifically, but I'm sure there are tons of possibilities. There's a helipad one where you could land your dinosaurs and you can connect them through bridges, and they're honestly just pretty cool. Add it to your world, try it out, live in the sky, it sounds like a lot of fun. You know what else is fun? Coloring your dinosaurs. Yes, of course, you want a red dinosaur. Now that's a good looking dinosaur. No longer want just red? Want red and blue? Well, you can do that too. This mod will completely color your dinosaurs easily and it's not even that hard to craft. Now that's what I call art. Do you like geckos? Of course you do. Well, if you don't, that's fine. You'll like geckos after this, because this mod adds the most adorable dodo-sized gecko you've ever seen. It can even ride on your back. Well, it's more fused with my body than actually writing, but that's fine. Anyways, this cute little critter is cute, and that's about it, really. Was vanilla clothing never good enough for you? Yeah, me neither. But luckily, there's a mod that changes that for us, because this mod can change this into this. Doesn't it look much better? Yeah, of course it does. With this mod, you can go from this to this, this, and even this. There's a lot of options currently, and I'm sure there may be more in the future. Next up is another dinosaur, because who doesn't love dinosaurs? If you don't love dinosaurs, I think you may be watching the wrong video. Anyways, this is the Maraxis TLC. It's a bit bigger than an Allo, and overall is pretty decent. The thing that's unique about it is that it has a rage similar to the Giga, except this guy's not an idiot and doesn't have a temper tantrum. Instead, he does a roar, starts to glow, keeps his cool, and deals more damage. So overall, a pretty neat creature. The running animation looks like a speedwalk, but it at least doesn't look bad. This next mod is a little harder to show because my game doesn't like it when I go into the water, but it's a cool boat. And we crashed. And by boat, I mean it's a Norse longship, like the things the Vikings used back in the good old days. This thing is basically a giant raft, but also looks cool. You could just place it in the water and ride it like as if it were a raft. And that's basically all there is to it. Go ahead and raid as many bases as you want. You should add the human NPC mod to this and you could definitely raid humans. Well, NPCs, but y you know. Are you running out of storage options in Ark? Well, this next mod has a bunch more options for you to choose from. They're here to spice up your build, and it's not necessarily adding a bunch of bigger options, it's, it's more of a variety thing. Or if you're trying to build a specific thing and going with a theme, maybe like an old western type theme or like a medieval theme, maybe some chests would look better. Overall, it's a storage mod of variety. We've got chests, camouflage chests, barrels, cupboards, and even dressers with this mod. So I'm sure you'll find something you like. 
Now, we all love dodos, and we all love rexes, which means statistically speaking, we all have to love dodo rexes. And well, we finally have a mod in Ark Survival Ascended that adds the dodo rex to the game. Now, it doesn't look great, and the animation isn't fantastic either, and the fire breath just looks odd, but it's the idea that counts, and dodo rexes, as fake as they are, are completely awesome. And for the map you've all been waiting for. Amisa, like Alyssa, but instead of the L, it's an M, so maybe Amissa or Amisa? I'm not sure. Anyways, this map looks really cool. There are three different spawn locations as of right now. The Amissa City, which is just like a castle city in the forest that seems to be abandoned, but not in ruins. The Snow City, which has been abandoned and also looks like to be in ruins. And then the third is my favorite, it's the Desert City. It really throws off ancient Egypt vibes and I honestly just dig it. This map, for only being like 20% done, has a lot to offer. There's a bunch of finished looking biomes, there's a wyvern trench, and even some pyramids. So this map is definitely worth checking out. I can't even imagine how good it would be once it's finished. Anyways guys, that's all the mods I've got for you. Make sure to comment down below which was your favorite. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.